Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to be talking uh, about uh, configuring voice VLAN on the Cisco switch. Uh, just as we know, all networks today have both voice, video and data running on the same uh, physical infrastructure. So being able to uh, create voice VLAN make it really easy for network engineers to have uh, a CAD5 draw being shared between the PC and the phone and still being able to keep them on separate uh, subnet or separate VLAN, so to say. So uh, today I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step, uh, way on how to create a voice uh, VLAN on a Cisco switch. So uh, let's get right into it. I'm now uh, turning it into one of my switches. This is the Cisco uh, Catalyst 2950 switch. So now I'm going to uh, uh, show you first uh, the VLAN that I have on this uh, on this switch by right? using the show VLAN command. As you can see, it's only the default VLAN. So the VLAN 1, 1002, 1005, those are the default. Uh, so now I go into the uh, global configuration mode, and here is where we create uh, the necessary VLAN. So what I want to do here is to create two uh, VLANs, VLAN 2, VLAN 3. That is the first step when you create a voice VLAN. Create VLAN just regularly as you create any data VLAN and do it inside of the interface configuration mode, you can specify which one is going to be your data VLAN and which one is going to be the voice uh, VLAN. All right. So I'm inside the co global configuration mode. So I'm just going to create VLAN 2. So easy. Just type VLAN 2. You're in. That is VLAN 2. And it takes VLAN 2 is already created. And now I'm inside the uh, uh, VLAN configuration mode, so I can actually name my VLAN. So I'm naming VLAN 2 as the data VLAN. Okay, so this is data VLAN. All right, so now I can uh, create the second VLAN, which is VLAN 3, and I'm still inside the global, uh, no, not global, I'm now inside the uh, VLAN configuration mode. I don't need to exit it to create another VLAN, so I just say VLAN 3 and uh, I just give it a name voice VLAN okay so that is done so I have my two VLAN so the key now is to go into the interface configuration mode specify on which interfaces do I want this VLAN uh, to be available and then uh, designate which one is going to be my data and which one is going to be voice very easy so now I'm going to go exit out of uh, global configuration mode and goes into the interface configuration mode using the interface range command. So here I want uh, interface 2 uh, through 24. So I want the, those both voice and data VLAN to be available on those uh, port interfaces. So the first thing is to uh, declare the mode. So it's, uh, it's access mode. That's one of the beauty of voice VLAN. You don't need to turn on your port to have all the VLAN to have those two VLANs available. All right. So switch port mode is access, and then I do switch port access VLAN two. So I just specified that as my data VLAN. It's a regular access VLAN, which is a, uh, my VLAN two. And now I specify the voice VLAN. Voice voice VLAN three. So right now I just specify that as my uh, voice uh, VLAN. So I'm going to exit into this. Exit again. I'll save my configuration using the right command. And now I can do show VLAN to specify my configuration. And then uh, here you could see that I have now uh, VLAN 2 and VLAN 3. Uh, VLAN 2 is my data VLAN. And you could see it's available on interfaces 2 through 24. Uh, also, I have a VLAN 3, which is my voice VLAN. And now it's available on interfaces 2 through 24. So what I've done here is that if I have a uh, I cut five drops connected to this uh, uh, port. I can have a PC and a phone share that same drop, and automatically the IP phone we know is will be a member of VLAN three, and uh, my PC will be a member of VLAN two. So that way I could keep them in separate uh, IP subnet. I could default route those uh, uh, subnet whichever way I want. So it's like having uh, two 
separate network in one network. So it enables us to use the, you know, uh, the functionality of VLAN without actually uh, trunking each and every, each and every port. Uh, so that concludes uh, uh, creating voice VLAN in, uh, uh, in the, on the Cisco, Cisco switch. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be uploading more videos, uh, you know, uh, later days on other uh, topics. So if you want more information, go to ciscodary.com where you get uh, the best uh, information on step-by-step -step way to configure Cisco routers and switches and also to troubleshoot them. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.